Hi everyone, in this video we take a look at Color Invader. Uh, keep in mind that this game uh, is still in development. This is the beta, uh, it was released for testing. So again, that in mind, let's take a look what this game is. Now before we do that, just on a side note, this is what's written on side quests. Uh, Color Invader is a virtual reality game that helps you improve your cognitive thinking in brain development so i'm gonna again judge it based on well just what it is as a game as a shooting game but keep in mind that based on that might be other things related to the reason the way the game is designed that way so just a disclaimer but i want to play it as it so core inverter is all about shooting cubes uh color cubes and there are three different game modes and by the way when i played it i felt that you know these are the type of games that i prefer if it was like a single game mode that were perfected and uh, kind of improved and added more features to it rather than having three different game modes. But again, that's what it is. Now in two game modes, uh, the game will tell you which one to shoot. And by the way, you can see at the top, this is by the way, a very bad positioning to tell the player which one to shoot because you always need to look when it uh, changes the color, you need to look up and see what the color. Uh, so again, this is not really a good way to do it. <laughs> it needs something that the players can always see. Uh, maybe maybe let the, the ones that you need to shoot kind of a flash. So the user now know, all right, I need to shoot now the greens, I need to shoot the reds. Uh, but just writing it at the top that I need to look up every time it changes, this is not a bad implementation. Anyway, this is the first one. So let's take a look here. The game tells you uh, which colors to shoot and you need to shoot them. Uh, and if you shoot the other, just you won't get points. And basically you have a limited time. So you need to make sure that you hit those as fast as possible. So basically this is kind of a target shooting i personally find it to be the most boring one uh i just don't like it personally and i prefer the other ones better so let's take a look at them all right let's take a look at the second one so as you can see shoot the blue targets uh as many as you can and avoid hitting the red block you have a minute and a half you also have your sapara ops for example like giving you extra time and you need to use your two guns in order to shoot them as fast as possible Now this one I actually like better, and by the way I actually felt like I'm kind of playing like a, uh, aim lab in a way, and also some getting some kind of vibes from uh, Beat Saber, just shooting. Anyway, it's a cool, a cool one, looks definitely better because it has depth and things are moving, so I really like this one better. All right, this is another one. Shoot as much uh, blue target as you can. Targets can uh, as you can, and avoid hitting the non-targeted blocks. So blue, and also you can see the targeted blocks are actually shown you at the top. So similar kind of to the previous one in a way, but again different rules and different presentation. Yeah, I just keep in mind the developer mentioned it's still in beta, it's still in testing. So what my opinion about it? Well, uh, again, there's one game mode that I like, the second one, uh, which I prefer. And this is why it seems like every three different game modes. I mean, of course, you can find the one that you prefer best. This is why they have three. So I can find, oh, right, this is actually I enjoy playing better. But in my opinion, I would probably focus on one and trying to, uh, you know, make it the best it can be. But at the same breath, this is actually not a bad option because the developer can like some, uh, you know, feedback about those uh, uh, different ones and see which one users prefer. So actually re releasing a game like that can actually be, be something good. I say maybe other players uh, give feedback that prefer this specific one. This is maybe that the others are not playing as much and maybe try to kind of revisit the game and make changes, maybe drop some and focus on others. So it's all about user feedback, So, which is actually a great thing to do. Uh, but again, it's still in testing, so if it developed, but this is what the goal was, it's actually a good goal, uh, because you don't really know how people will really accept a certain game mode. I mean, if you have several ideas, you just try it out and see what people like best. So in that aspect, it's not bad. 
Now, did I enjoy playing it? At this current stage of development, I actually thought the game was boring, uh, not something that we just want to revisit. Uh, it's lacks excitement for me. I mean, I like the idea of different game modes with the colors. I mean, people love color games and shooting kind of uh, matching colors. It's nice, but definitely there's way to improve it, both in terms of, again, the way you present the changes to the colors to the user. And also, I didn't like the environment. It just felt a bit not interesting uh, in terms of visual effects for explosion for the cubes, for example, something more exciting. Now it can be also maybe some cool power-ups, maybe some animations to the cubes that can be more exciting to watch. Maybe other guns that you can unlock. All these little things that can make you enjoy progression within the certain game mode itself. Uh, so I don't mind if, for example, there was a gun that's moving fast and I need to shoot it to grab it and then it just automatically just drops into my head with cool animations and now I'm shooting with another cool powerful weapon things like that and also don't like by the way shooting uh, single bullets a lot in short interval it's really tiring for my finger I actually kind of dislike it in many games unless it's in, in a not such a short interval and this by the way I think that Beat Saber is amazing because the way it's designed to be very comfortable and accessible but again uh, I personally prefer shooters myself I prefer taking a gun and just shoot 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 so again, when you come to shooting, you just need to implement it well, so it will be satisfying as well. So there are many ways you can actually improve this type of game. I mean, the core thing uh, can, is good, but again, more features, more cool stuff, more weapons, power-ups, something that gets very, very exciting uh, to play. But again, the game is still in development, so as of the time of making this video, I don't like it that much, unfortunately, but maybe the developer will add more features. That's my feedback. That's what I think about it. Hope you enjoyed this one. Consider maybe leaving a like and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. Cheers.